Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is LXL IGCC exam questions compound interest. Okay, let's do it. All right, so first off, we need to work out the multiplier. Now, if you're not sure what that is, what you could do is you could take 100% and you're adding on, because this is a savings account, 2.3% each year, and then we could divide that by 100 to get the percentage. So you could do that on your calculator by doing 100 plus 2.3 all over 100 and that is 1.023 now when we do compound interest per year for a certain number of years we take the amount invested and we multiply it by a multiplier and then here's the key point to the number of years as the power so for three years and that will give me how much money she has in a savings account after those three years. So we go to our calculator, we type in the amount, we type in the multiplier, and then we say to the power of, in this case, three. And it wants it to the nearest dollar, so that is $9,100. Okay, next question says, Rami bought a house on the 1st of January 2015 and then the house increased by value by 15% and then it decreased in value by 8% on the 1st of January 2017 the value of the house was this amount work out how much it was beforehand okay so let's have a look we started with some amount in terms of how much the house was worth we then increased it by 15% and that multiplier is 1.15. And then we decreased it by 8%. And that multiplier is 100 minus 8 is 92. So it's 0 0.92. And that equals the amount of money that it is now worth. Okay, we need to reverse this process. So we need to divide by 0 0.92. And we need to divide by 1.15. So I would write that it's 687700 divided by 0 0.92 and then divided by 1.15. So we can do that on our calculator. We can say 8, sorry, 687700. First off, divided by 0 0.92, that will go back one year, and then divided by 1.15. Oh, perfect number, so it feels like it's the right answer, and that is 600,000. Uh, top tip, the question did not ask for a certain um, sig significant figures or to a certain number of decimal places, so the fact that I got a really round answer makes me feel confident that I got the answer right. Okay, next question, we've got that Lee bought a boat for this amount of money and the boat depreciates, which means goes down, by 8% per year. So there's that 8% decrease again. And just quickly, to find the multiplier, you can always just do 100. In this case, decrease by 8 and then divide by 100. And this gives us the multiplier of 0 0.92. And it says work out the value of the boat in 2019. So three years on. So we take the amount the boat was worth, we multiply it by the multiplier, and it's for three years, so we do it to the power of three. So times by 0 0.92 to the power of three, and we get, it says to the nearest dollar, so it's not, it's okay that it's a kind of a, not the, the neatest of numbers, and that is one, three, two, Three seven seven. Okay, tricky question alert. Mac invests six thousand pounds in a savings account for three years. The account pays compound interest at a rate of one point five percent for the first two years, and then a compound interest rate changes for the third year. And at the end of the third year, we we find out how much money he has. We've got to work out that rate uh, for the third year. So, 
I will start off by working out how much he has after two years. And it says here that the rate is 1.5, so that's 1.015 as a multiplier. And that's the power of 2 because that's for two years. So after two years, we know that there is 6181.35 in his account. And then that money is then multiplied by some multiplier. We're not sure what it is, so let's call it x. And then that will give me a value in the account of 6,311.16. So to reverse this, I must divide both sides by 6181.35. So I go to my calculator and I take 6311.16 and I divide it by 6181.35. Okay, and I get a, uh, that's quite a good number there because that's 1.021 and then lots and lots of zeros afterwards so we can, um, we don't need to consider the bits after that. And what is that as a percentage? Well, if that was my multiplier, then that would give me a 2.1% rate. Because if I had 100 and I added on 2.1 and I divided it by 100, then that would give me that multiplier of 1.021. And the final uh, tricky question uh, Jan invests six, sorry, eight thousand in a savings account, and the account pays a compound interest rate which we don't know. And at the end of six years, there's a total of this amount in the account. Work out the um, the rate. Well, we would have had eight thousand pounds to start with, and then that was multiplied by some um, some value. Uh, let's call it. Um, M for multiplier and that is then raised to the power of 6 because we're doing it for 6 years and that equals 8877.62 okay so I'm careful not to use the letter X actually because uh, this is the multiplier and this is going to be the actual rate so let's work out what the multiplier is. Well, first of all, to multiply to the power of 6, we would get by dividing both sides by 8,000. Which will give me um, 8877.62 over 8,000. Okay, so that's m to the 6 is 1.1097. Uh, so to get m, I need to take the 6th root. It's not something you do very often of this number. But I can use my calculator for that. I'm going to press this button above the square root button. Oh, no, that's the cube root. I need to press the button above the square above the power button there it is and we put six there so the sixth root of the last answer is equal to okay nice that's a nice that's a nice number because there's lots of zeros after that seven five which makes me feel confident that i'm on the right lines here uh, so we can ignore everything after those zeros because they're really far away and that's the multiplier so what's the actual percentage well, that's going to be 1.75, and that is the x value that we're looking for, not the multiplier, the percentage that they get per year. And that's compound interest done. Bosh. Okay, go on to the next topic.